Iraq guys, President Barack Obama recently said that Pakistani airstrike deaths were not deliberate. Come on, Mr. Obama, don't be so modest. When you have done some good humanitarian work, at least take some credit for it. I'm, I'm sure there will be a day when some guy will get the Nobel Peace Prize for killing a ton of jihadis. I mean Pakistanis. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Obama already has a Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, so figures, he doesn't need the credit. <laughs> Iranian officials said they shot down an unmanned US spy vehicle that crossed over into Iran's eastern border. We have a picture of that unmanned US spy vehicle. <laughs> According to this report, Iran is trying to send um, living creatures to space. Actually, they are sending de dead creatures to space. But they come alive the moment they are out of Iran. <laughs> Israel's government has cancelled a public relations campaign aimed at encouraging Israelis living in the US to return to the Jewish state after a wave of complaints. Yeah, this is ridiculous. If all the Jews go back to Israel, then who will run the United States of America? Who will run Hollywood? Business houses? Who will sponsor us? <laughs> According to the Pope, for those who do not know what the Pope is, huh? he is a man with a pointy hat who thinks every day is fancy dress competition. <laughs> so yeah, the Pope says, in the 1970s, pedophilia was theorized as something fully in conformity with man and even with children. <laughs> what he means to say is that pedophilia was acceptable in the 1970s. No wonder so many Christian kids boycotted going to the church in the 70s and became metalheads. The 1970s must have been the Woodstock years for all you Catholic priests, right? Those were the days. Now it's just dire straits for the pedophile priests. <laughs> Pope Benedict also said sex tourism in the third world was threatening an entire generation. <laughs> Obviously the Pope hasn't visited Amsterdam or met French women or Italian men or Greek boys. <laughs> Herman Cain has backed out of the presidential race after some soul searching. He has decided to go back at what he is best at being a habitual sex offender. <laughs> a US-based research institute will soon publish indisputable evidence that Israel stole uranium from the US. Come on guys, big shit. I mean, these guys stole an entire country. <laughs> uranium theft? Big deal, stop underestimating the Israelis. Yes, look at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Iranian president and a man with half a brain missing the great Mahmoud Ahmadin, uh, whatever the f his name is. He's a Nazi. No, no, I'm not saying this. But these are the exact words of the Albanian Prime Minister, Salih Ben. Who gives a shit? Now, you must be wondering why the f did we say that? And it wasn't even funny. Well, you're right. But we are a democratic show. No one makes any Albanian jokes. 99% of the people in this world don't know what Albania is. Half the Albanians think they are Yugoslavians. So as a moral responsibility, we thought of cracking at least one joke on Albania. But later on we realize it's not worth the effort. So, yeah, anyway, I gotta go. Herman Cain is meeting me. He thinks we are more offensive than any of his sexual offenses. I just want his money. See you soon, or as soon as it's better late than never. Bye-bye. Drinks monitor me, the bleak
Yeah. 